King spins it big time. Oh, got her dinner in flight. Tell us again. Another run out, surely another direct hit. They haven't missed today. Melbourne Stars had an up and down season last year, finishing seventh. They've gone away, they've recruited well, particularly in the bowling stocks. Knocked her over. Holly Furling, girl from Queensland, is now moving down south. Burst onto the Australian scene about three years ago, bowling with some serious heat. He was probably one of the quickest bowlers going around the country. And then just lost her way a little bit after some stress fractures. She's uh, now fit, uh, hopefully bowling very, very fast, and will be a key bowler for the Melbourne Stars this summer. Ball right through the gate. What a great wicket by Holly Furling. Andrew over the years has just probably struggled to find her way within the Sydney Sixers lineup with the amount of uh, world class bowlers that we've got there. So she's taken a fresh approach this summer. She's come down south to, to Melbourne. I think she'll work with Chris and Beans as another leggy to learn off her and develop her art. And she'll be one of the key bowlers for the stars. Oh, got her, done her beautifully. How do you replace someone like Meg Lanning? I don't think you just replace them with one player. I think it's the ability for the entire squad to step up. But I think someone like Lizelle Lee will be saying, hang on a minute, I'm more than capable. 100 in the Super League final uh, in England recently. She is one of the dynamos on the world scene. And I think she's got the capabilities of hitting big runs for the stars. Wow, that is huge. For the stars to have a successful season and get up into the top four, it's going to take some cricket smarts. And they've certainly got that with the likes of Erin Osborne and Kristen Beams uh, within the leadership setup. I think it, for the stars, it's about making sure they have as much fun as they possibly can out in the park. And when they're doing that, I think the, the results will flow their ways in terms of both the bat and ball. She's hit that beautifully, Katie Mack. Finds the sweet spot.